Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So since CSI net exam is over and you must be preparing for the next one and of course when you start your preparation there is something called as a strategy for exam and there is a need of that. Many people ask for that. I thought of making a video where I will be discussing about the strategy for the exam but before going into that I thought of making this video. It's equally important topic and this is something which many people skip okay this is step people skip and they just go for strategy and the other things so i thought of discussing this thing before going into that so this video will be more important to those who have given this exam already and who have missed this exam by any margin it can be 0.5 marks it can be 5 marks 10 marks 50 marks any margin okay so i'm talking to those who have an experience of giving this exam uh, and who have a particular scorecard especially if you have given the last exam the recent exam then this video is going to make more sense to you okay so this particular thing i have been talking about before the result came like when the scorecard came that time also i said that please is uh, like save your scorecard this detailed scorecard is very important because this tells a lot to you regarding your next preparation see you have prepared for the exam and of course you are going to prepare for the next one because you have not qualified this time so there must be something which you are lacking right there is something which you have missed last time uh, so what is that okay if you are able to figure out that thing you just have to work upon that okay so this 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 is a part of like missing a puzzle you can say anyone who finds it is like more likely to qualify the, uh, for the next time but there are many students who are stuck in a loop who don't know what exactly they have missed or uh, like who don't know what exactly is the thing which they have to include uh, in their preparation or in their strategy and whatever they are doing for the next exam they don't know what to do they are just repeating the same loop they are just preparing in the same way with the same strategy with the same way uh, this time they have purchased some let's say some other material they have stood uh, they have purchased some other subscription this time they have uh, taken some other coaching so they keep on experimenting okay that also can help you that also might end up giving you a good result but over here the chances or you can say because it's a hit and trial method that's what you are doing right so it takes more time more number of attempts right so instead of doing that what I believe is that you have to focus on that part which you were not able to do last time or the missing part which I say right so that particular missing thing which was which you lack last time you have to just work upon that and you will be able to do in the next one right okay before going into this video before discussing these all things in detail let me tell you something that I earlier I used to respond to people who used to mail me I uh, now also I respond to them on my email but the problem is that writing an email takes a lot of time okay and if I let's say I get 50 responses or 100 emails it becomes very difficult to reply them like uh, at once okay so a easier way of that is through social media especially Instagram so if you have any query if you have a query related to your preparation related to anything related to your studies related to let's say exam anything okay if you have a query uh, the quickest way how I can respond to you is through Instagram okay or through social media so if you follow me on Instagram or if you don't follow me the link is there in the description of this video you can come to Instagram you can write your message uh, the easiest way for me to respond over there will be by a voice note okay so that will be quick for me also that will be quick for you also so in case if you have any such doubt any such query instead of writing email although that's of course that is a more professional way but here the idea is to solve the query solve the problem rather than going in the professional method right so it's better to contact me on Instagram and there you might get the response much quicker as compared to email okay so that was something I wanted to say fine now coming back to the topic so I was telling you that your scorecard is the thing which you have to understand which you have to read in order to understand what mistakes you were doing there are many students who have their personal problems okay personal problems means their own uh, like uh, their own uh, like demerits you can say or their own uh, limitations some mistakes which are, which they are doing at a personal level 
because of that they are not able to qualify somebody is not able to manage time somebody is not able to remember concept somebody is not able to somebody knows the formula knows everything but he is not able to solve questions so many different 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 things are there so i cannot address everything in a video because of course it's not possible but what i can do is i can tell you some generic things okay some generic uh, problems which many student face in all and uh, that you can rectify with your scorecard or that you can understand from your scorecard because finding out that problem is very important so i'll start from this okay see there are three sections in your scorecard section a uh, part a part b and part c part a is aptitude part b is uh, like two marker question part c is four marker questions subject related so many chemistry students are not good at part A. Let's leave part A for now. Okay, I'm not going to discuss about part A. About part B and part C. So there are some students who are extremely good at part C, but they are not good at part B. That means they don't score good marks in part B, or they get many negative marks in part B, but they get quite a decent marks in part C. See, if you are someone who is getting this, that means that your concepts are strong. You understand the concept, and it it is easy for you to apply those concepts. But you don't remember the formula or you don't don't remember the terms or you get confused between two similar things okay because part b has more direct questions or you can say those questions are like they are like uh, questions where you have if you remember a fact if you remember a formula if you remember a concept if you remember a theorem you will be able to answer those questions okay part c is on the other hand require more in depth knowledge so let's say you are someone who is getting good marks in part b but not in part c in that case you understood that your concepts are not strong you have to work upon your concept you have to study them in detail you have to you know build up your basics so that when the exam comes when you sit in the exam you are able to apply those concepts in the exam okay so part c uh, getting more negative marks in part c and less marks in part c that resembles this that your concepts are weak you have to strengthen you have to make your concepts strong so this is what you can see from the section wise marks okay then comes that there are certain students who are good at who think that they are good at organic chemistry and uh, but in the exam they get negative marks out of it so that means what you think that you are good at organic chemistry but you are not able to solve questions of organic chemistry same goes for anything okay it can be applicable on physical chemistry also or in uh, inorganic chemistry also so the thing is that you are you might think that you have you know the concept you might know also but when it comes to uh, question solving you are not able to do that so for that what you have to do you have to solve more and more and more question you have to practice more you have to solve similar type of question so that uh, it becomes it comes in your muscle memory and when it comes in the exam you are able to solve it right so that is how you can rectify this mistake okay and then there are some students who have problem managing time like when they sit in the exam uh, like for them 3 hours pass very fast they are not able to solve all 25 questions in part c or some of the part they don't get time to see part a questions or they don't get time to solve part b completely something like that happen that means uh, the time is not enough for them to figure out or to solve the complete question paper now that is because you have not practiced against time okay that comes with solving test series by giving mock test okay so the more mock test you will give see the idea of mock test is entirely different mock test will not tell you that how much you have prepared okay it might tell but depending upon the level of mock test and from where you are giving those mock test okay i have seen many mock tests which are there in the market they are not up to the mark or up to the level of exam okay so you might get good marks in the mock test but when you sit in the exam your marks are not what you were expecting from the mock, mock test okay so in the mock test let's say you are getting 130 140 marks you expect okay in the exam also i'll get 110 but in the exam you get 80 or 90 that means the questions in the mock test were comparatively easier compared to those which came in the exam right so yeah mock test the best thing which you can learn from the mock test is time management how to manage three hours how to sit in the exam for three hours how many maximum questions you can do in three hours so that particular thing you can do or that particular thing you can uh, prepare from the mock test right so these are certain things which you have to analyze of your own see each for each and every one uh, there cannot be uh, like uh, like because you all are mature enough now okay you all are grown ups uh, so you don't need a mentor on one on one basis that can 
come and tell you that what exactly is you have to do but sometimes i believe because you are still learning you are still on that stage you need someone to tell you that this is the thing which is going wrong with you and you might have to work upon it we thought to discuss about this because this is something from which you can self understand self educate yourself self uh, realize that what mistake you are doing what type of mistakes you are doing depending upon that if you fall under these generic conditions in that case you can basically work upon them according to what i have given suggestions if you have any other suggestion you can let me know in the comment section below and if you have any specific uh, like query or any specific problem related to your preparation something which is unusual which i have not talked about in this video okay in that case my instagram is always open you can come over there you can message me you can dm me over there and i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible okay so yeah that's what this video is about and uh, see the problem is ki when i was preparing I, i'll tell you one thing at, at the end of this video okay that when i was preparing i felt this thing uh, especially when i was stuck at a particular moment i was not aware or i was not able to figure out what problem or what what is going wrong with me why i'm not able to crack this or what what is exactly wrong with my preparation i'm doing everything whatever is required but at that time i didn't have anybody to discuss about it okay uh, yeah people like seniors were there but they are like they all already have their own issues their own problem so that's why i personally believe that it is very important for some time that you you stuck at a particular uh, time or a particular situation where if someone tells you little bit of things or he just gives you a, uh, his point of view it helps to come out of it and who knows that point of view can lead you to qualify the exam next time right so that's all for this video i thought of making it before making any strategy video or make before making any uh, like preparation strategy related video for the next time so i hope whatever i said you have understood i hope whatever we have discussed in this video is clear to you if you have any queries you can let me know in the comment section or you can come to my instagram page and uh, discuss with me over there thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take